What's up you guys, Max here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about 5 mods you can do to your newly purchased Camaro. So let's get right into it. Now the first thing I'm going to be talking about are caliber covers. Now caliber covers, basically what they do, they cover the brake calibers on your car, basically as you would think. Uh, they go behind the wheels and they basically make your car pop out a lot more. Especially if you get a red or a yellow, these things are really going to make your car pop and when you pull up people are going to notice them. This will especially look good if you have black wheels. I have silver wheels but I still think they look pretty good and I would definitely recommend it. These range between about $150 and $300. I personally got mine from Fast Tech for about $250. I think they look great. They were pretty easy to install. You do have to take the wheels out to actually install these, but I do think it's worth it. It probably took about an hour to two hours for all four wheels to be taken off, putting the calibers on, or the caliber covers, and then putting the wheels back on, about an hour or two. It's not that bad. The calibers, or the caliber covers, sorry, they come with clips and it's just really, really very easy to do. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is Plasti Dip. Now, a lot of people hate on Plasti Dip and they say that you shouldn't be doing it on your car, but there's a lot of benefits to Plasti Dip, and specifically in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Plasti Dipping your car emblem. Now, as you can see, I had a really ugly mustard colored Chevy emblem in the back of my car prior to when I put the Plasti Dip on it. I sprayed it with Plasti Dip and it looks a whole lot more aggressive and a lot better in my opinion. I've seen my cars yellow and black, so the black goes along with the theme of my car already, but it definitely looks really, really aggressive and really, really good. Now, what you wanna do, you either wanna take the emblem off and spray the emblem three to four times with a clear coat, or what you can do is tape around the emblem and basically get a very similar result. You'll tape around it, maybe put some garbage bags around the vicinity of where you're gonna be spraying. Like I said, put three, four, five coats on it with a clear coat if you want, take the tape off, and it's gonna look very, very good. As you can see from the before and after on my personal car, I think it looks a lot better. And Plasti Dip really only costs about five or six dollars for a can, and you need far less than a can to spray an emblem, so I definitely think it's worth it, and for such a cheap price, I think it's great. And then when it rains, the Plasti Dip's not gonna come off, or when you have bad weather, but at the same time, it's not 100% permanent, you can always peel it off. So I think it's a great addition to a car, and I would definitely recommend it. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about are blacking out your Camaro taillights. Now, I definitely think this is very, very cool, and it especially goes with the blacked out emblem and the black stripes on my car, but I think for any Camaro, especially from the 2010 to 2013, blackout taillights are a must. I made a video talking about blacking out your Camaro taillights, including the bezel, and actually getting the decal for the actual taillight itself, and I think it definitely makes the car look good. It's very easy. For the bezels and the decals total, I think it was about $50 or $60, and I think for that price, I think it's very low, and I think that it's definitely worth it, and I think the change is very noticeable, especially when looking at the back end of your car. I personally think that silver with the red didn't look too great, and I think even if you're not going to put the black decals over the taillights themselves, I definitely think just getting the bezels is going to be a very good addition to the car. Obviously 2014, 15 and up Camaros, it's going to be a little bit different because the taillights are different, but blacking those out, making those a little bit darker would still be cool, but obviously I can only show on the 2011 what it looks like, or the 2010 to 2013 taillights, and I think it looks great. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about are louvers. As you can see, I have louvers on my car. I have them on the back of the car and the side. These are pretty inexpensive, I would say. They're about $150 to about $250. I got a package deal where I got the side louvers as well as the back louvers, and I think it makes the car look very aggressive, and it's very easy to install. Basically, it comes with a bunch of 3M tape. You put that on your car, and it comes with a bunch of screws, and you just need to screw it in, and it's extremely, extremely easy, and the screws are within the 3M tape, so you just put the louvers over it, and it's just very easy to install. As far as the side louvers go, that's just 3M tape, so that's extremely, extremely easy to install. You just have to line it up right. So the installation is pretty easy on that. I would say the only concern people are gonna have with that is the visibility. Obviously, the Camaro doesn't have great visibility in the first place, but I don't think it makes it too much worse. Obviously, it's like those sunglasses with the little lines in them. You're still gonna be able to see through it, but at the same time, there are gonna be lines going through your back windshield, so it's going to be a little bit worse than it would be without it. It does give it that old school look, and I personally think it's worth it, but 
I think it's up to everyone's individual opinion to decide if they want that. And a lot of people don't like the look in general. So if you don't like it, obviously stay away from it. But if you do like it, I don't think it's too much of a concern if you're worried about the visibility. The final thing I'm gonna be talking about on this car for the fifth modification you can do for your Camaro is actually on the inside of the car. Now, this is the cheapest mod on the whole list. It's about 15 to $20. These are just little decals that go over the air vents of your car and they make the car look very, very nice, a lot more luxurious. I know Camaro is not known for being luxury, but it does make the interior look a lot better. And it is something that when a passenger comes in the car, they're definitely going to notice. And for $15, you can't really beat that. It's just as impactful as a lot of the other mods on this list, but just way cheaper. So if you're starting out with modding your car, that's probably one of the first things you can do to make the car look a lot better, at least on the inside. One extra thing I'm gonna talk about is actually gonna be a sixth thing, a little bonus, is actually gonna be the tinted windows. Now I think the tinted windows look very, very good on the car. This is actually 5% tint. I think it makes the car look a lot better. It kind of just goes with the car and I bought my car with the tint already on it and I think it looks very, very good and I can't see my car without it. And I think because I have seen cars or at least Camaros without the tint, I think it looks a lot worse, but I definitely think it's worth it. And if you have a 2010 or up Camaro, I definitely think it's worth getting tinted windows. So there you guys have it. Those are five mods you can do to your Camaro that are pretty affordable and pretty inexpensive. I think they all make the car look very good individually. And I think combined, I think it all just adds up to make the car look a lot better. So there's five with the one bonus at the end, things you can do. So that's it for this video. Peace.